Welcome back to the fifth and final day of early Adam's Family Appearances Week, which I've been doing, you know, on my blog. We're wrapping up with a video, uh, and we're wrapping up with what I believe is the earliest Adam's Family Appearance at all, Painting Words on Soul's Music Without a Face EP. Um, this is from 1998. Now, this is the earliest, I say, of Adam's Family Appearances, as in appearing on other people's projects. Of course, they had already done their own very classic Center of the Web EP in 1996, two years before. Uh, but also it's worth noting that the membership here is like almost an entirely different Adams family. Like Cryptic One is like the main guy who holds it all together. But you've got Witchcraft on here, Molecule on here, like those are the other main lead vocalists. And they're gone from the Adams family after this EP. And the lineup that we know as the Adams family, Vast Air, Vortal, Alaska, Wind and Breeze, None of those guys are around on this. So it's basically like Cryptic with a different crew, an early proto Adam family, except just one is also uh, involved in some uh, production or some DJ cuts in this track. So a little bit more of a tie, but basically this is pre Adam's family, Adam's family. It's brilliant though, it's an amazing EP. It's just a different lineup. And the only other thing that Cryptic One did back then, around the same time, 1996, was produce a track on this album, Live Poets, which is of course Soul. Before they were on Anticon and all that, it was Soul on his own pre-label 45 below, uh, and Live Poets was his group, but, you know, it was like Poison Clan with JT Money after Debonair left, where, like, Poison Clan is the name of the group, but basically it was just a solo JT Money project with some appearances from his friends. That's what this is, too. This is basically a soul, solo project with some appearances by his friends. But anyway, one of the guest producers who does one track on here is the Cryptic One. So, not so surprising, then, that when Soul came back with his new EP in 1998, uh, it's kind of the last thing he did on 45 Below before jumping over to Anticon. He did a song called Painting Words featuring the Adams Family. So here's the lineup. It only says featuring the Adams Family, uh, but I know from having listened to the song plenty of times that it's Cryptic One, Vortal, and Alaska are the Adams Family guests. We also got Dose One and Alias, who are sort of from Soul's crew. They later go on to become Deep Hub Dynamics and stuff, but this is before that, technically. You know, it's handwritten in here. Well, sort of handwritten. It's printed, but it's it's, you know... Like, every copy of this has it handwritten on it, uh, is one song by Deep Hell Dynamics. So this was, like, again, pretty much the earliest appearance alongside, as you remember from previous Adam's Family uh, appearance today, uh, the Persecution of Hip Hop compilation, which is the only Adam's Family appearance which arguably could have technically come first. They both came out in 1998. I remember this coming out first. But, you know, sometimes when you get to the really super indie hip-hop stuff where people are just giving out their albums at shows and stuff, it's really hard to say what a release date was. You know, it's not like, oh, Def Jam put out a billion copies in every store and every mall in America across the world on the same day at the same time. You know, when it's super, super indie, you know, and some guy's giving you like a CDR and said this is the official copy of the album, you know, it's hard to say what the exact release date was. So they both came out in 1998. I remember this is coming out first. Some people might say Persecution of Hip Hop came out first. Anyway, they're both the super early Adams Family appearances, especially, basically, these are the very first Adams Family appearances with the new lineup. Again, without Witchcraft and Molecule, now it's Elastic, it's Vast Air, it's Wind and Breeze. I mean, some of those guys are also on Persecution of Hip Hop, not on this. But this is the new Adams Family. Well, we're at the, let's just take a little closer look at this EP. This is a pretty interesting EP. Again, this is the last of Soul on 45 Below. Uh, before he would jump onto Anticon with his next single, and then, of course, you know, all of that. Uh, so, you got some interesting connections here. You've got UPS on the track, which is Infinito and Mr. Scourge, who had... Mr. Scourge had one song on the very first Anticon compilation EP, and then kind of they broke off and did their own thing. Uh, but UPS were originally going to come out on 45 Below. They were, like, going to have an album out on that label and everything. So, they were of the crew at that time, so they have a song on here. Uh, there's a song with Pedestrian on here. It's worth noting that some of these songs um, are also connected to the last Soul 12-inch. I guess you could say it's a 12-inch off of this album. Uh, the titles are a little bit different. Like, Three Guys at a Bar is Three Men at a Bar. That's pretty obvious. That's a song with Destroy from the Arsonist and Mr. Complex. Uh, so sort of when Soul was branching out and getting some more mainstream guests, which he actually kind of then pulled back on and stopped doing, but he does it here. Uh, but also then... Party Jam is really the song Banquet of Sarcasm from the 12th. So it's mostly produced by Mood Swing 9, who again you would sort of say was maybe the other half of Live Poets, definitely sort of Soul's official producer back then. But you got a bunch of other guys, like Alias of course did Banquet of Sarcasm, which you know from the 12 inch. Uh, uh, Mr. Scourge did the UBS track, Sample 209, who did some other early uh, Live Poets stuff, did a couple tracks on here. And the Cryptic One produced the Adams Family joint. So one thing in common with all these Adams Family tracks we've been looking at all week is that Cryptic One has handled all the production. 
So that gives Painting Words kind of a consistent tone along with all the other material. Because again, you got Cryptic Ones production, uh, you got the same era, you've got Again, like I've sort of pointed out in the past stuff, sometimes some punchlines are a little bit, you know, the weak spot of the albums, they draw it down a little bit as being a little bit corny and jokey as sort of just, that was the late 90s, was punchlines. Uh, but it's not too off the hook here, uh, compared to some other tracks we've looked at previously in the week. I'm definitely going to let you hear it. It's definitely got that kind of cryptic one, sort of, uh, you know, ominous, momentous kind of sound to the production, just sort of his sample selection and stuff like that. So it sounds really good. Uh, Kind of a crazy collection of MCs. Um, Dose One definitely being kind of the craziest. He's really not necessarily lyrically gone out, but definitely his voice and his flow, like he definitely stands out. Especially not having Vass here, who sort of would be the Admiral's family member who would most stand out. Uh, so it's a really interesting lineup. Everybody comes off pretty well, uh, especially for the, the time. This was like a killer posse cut. Uh, kind of insane, but kind of really cool. So definitely a cool track to track down. The CP is super rare and hard to get. But the song is absolutely online, and I think Soul later put the song, as well as most of the EP, on his Learning to Walk uh, compilation CD, which featured a lot of his old early material. So, you know, this particular EP might be super hard to find, but the music from it, not. Not at all. So now let's hear a clip. Painting Words, Soul, featuring Alias, Dose, and the Adams Family, specifically Cryptic One, Alaska, and Vortal. Here we go. Prepare to die from the verse, but it's not verse, versatile, verbalist. My merciless verses will leave you like verges and hearses on the verge of hurt. Each and every simple surface person lurking in shadowy regions. I'm battling legions with a battalion of MCs releasing disease in the area. Anthrax mixed with malaria, hypocryptic bacteria. Inferior rap collapse rapidly to my rapid rap rhapsody. Cause catastrophe, cryptic one out of family. Casually creating casualties of cash and greed, vanity, fallacies. You're false of my palace and target. My chaos incarnate starting a revolution. Using cerebral confusion caused by music, blues, and brains are hotless. Simplistic idiot, lyrics is mindless. Crystal is simply ridiculous. Lifeless, simple mental beat is meaningless. While I shine right in, I was wearing all black in the shadows of a dark room. You goons get speared by my array of vocal harpoons. Cartoon rhymes can't hack it when the flows explode. While the coyote tactics skim at to ones and runs these roads. So prepare to get killed by the ill act, the anvil skill. The leaves you whack stuck at a standstill. This man will attack the whack until the end of time. Cryptic one transmission cease and it rhymes for your mind. Oh my god, they killed hip hop, but I'll be back next episode. Best of vote now. Bluffing only got your huffing paint. You call it an abstract visual. Is you an individual as was hypocritical as your temple? Head to doom, we eat dust and shit the relics I've been pissing on and fake. We bust. The US ain't us. I can't breathe in spice world, so I'll wither away and dither. Till it's out in home economics. Microphone calisthenics. Ergonomically viable MCs of green figurines. I get my peepees and jumps. To bring my rage to this machine of MCs, I'm a stripper. Please, wait to go in the furnace. Yeah, I hold a piss in a charcoal, but so sense up camp like Ernest. Yeah, I'm Ernest. Honest, I promise to be the classic alchemist in this world of hobgoblins and hobbits and masked men with no dicks. Be a man, any man, but not the child you've shrunk into. I don't scream what, but ask you to style a city in a slump. I chill with sleepers, Eskimos, tombstones, and titles. Let the DJ signify and knock these fools off their bicycles. Done. <laughs> It's hard like homeless men walking barefoot in glass sidewalk. I keep it real like flat chested women chilling home wearing anti silicone breasts and plant ribbons. My talk slipped in states of you better recognize like colorblind gang bangers stacking in the back of national sign language convention. Did I mention I represent like no leg Jimmy in a wheelchair basketball tournament on the other side of the court screaming Shit, Jimmy? And my shit simply raw like underage immature portal star dipped in dripping. An egg, open leg, uncooked chicken, edible, undie garb, more dick and take shots of penicillin, seven nilla victim. I'm illin', like no flesh, Tony alone in abandoned building, infested with asbestos.